Hi, Michael Goldman here, Senior Lecturer at Gibbs. Uh, and uh, I guess very interested at the moment, as many of you are, on how much we're paying for bank fees and which bank might be the best bank for our bucks. So very pleased uh, to welcome Nicola Klein, my colleague in the marketing space here at the Business School, to really explore this issue, which seems to be hitting the headlines, Nicola. And banks seem to be spending a lot of money Absolutely. right now fighting each other, almost like a war. Michael, there's a, a lot of spend. I haven't done a full tally on the media spend recently, mm. but just a look at yesterday's Sunday Times, for example. We're seeing full page spreads taken out by FNB, by Standard. We're seeing uh, spreads taken out by Nedbank. I didn't see ABSA in yesterday's, but certainly the week before there was a double sp uh, page spread on ABSA. And at, you know, anything from 500,000 mm. and well up beyond that, there's a lot of money that's being spent over here. And I guess this is all flowed out of some of the Steve campaigns and some of the work that FNB and perhaps some of the others have done to really focus the attention on the price issue in the value proposition for retail banking. Well, I think FNB have been quite clever because th they spoke about price for a while, but they're really driving a hard value. This is the extra that you get. Why not bank with us? And of course, Steve has uh, epitomized this. Uh, some of the other competitors seem to be taking up a very strong price cudgel in this. Uh, and and they're, they're, they're getting quite uh, competitive about it. Mm. I understand that Standard Bank is taking First uh, National Bank to the ASA to complain about unfair advertising. Uh, and I gather there was some Twitter conversation around that. Exactly, because I guess what, what's interesting, what struck me over the last few days is when the news broke about Standard Bank being a bit grumpy about what FNB was doing mm. and taking them to the ASA, uh, a Twitter conversation exploded. Uh, and uh, I guess the analysis that we've seen over the last few days suggesting that actually FNB came out much better out of that conversation on Twitter, given the way they responded to people, given the, the kind of, of uh, participation in the conversation that they were having, versus Standard Bank, who on their hand, Standard Bank Group were a lot more fact-based, uh, no real emotion, and, and struggled, I guess, to connect with people via Twitter, whereas FNB, as we know, has vast experience in this. They have the RB Jacobs handle, they have Michael Yordan, uh, really communicating a much more personable image to people mm. on Twitter. And so I guess if the banking wars are happening on Twitter, FNB is winning at the moment. Well, I think what we also have to look at is how, how well are they fighting and do they have the space to fight? You know, a lot of people have said to me, FNB's advertising is superb. You can't just get this right by great advertising. If you don't have the value proposition to support it, if the organization can't deliver it, uh, you've got a serious problem. And, and it's interesting because to me, some of the campaigns seem to be quite reactive. Some of them seem to be under threat. Mm. Are we hemorrhaging customers? And so there's no doubt that FNB have gone on the offensive with a, a value proposition. I think NetBank's handling has been interesting. There's still, I can see a price sensitivity coming through, mm. but they haven't lost their original brand positioning, which is very much around the environment, around doing good and doing well. Mm. Uh, you know, in some of the campaigns, the APSA spread, the standard bank spread is just all around price and I'm wondering if they're not damaging their brands. And I guess the thing that we often debate with classes is the issue of sticking to your strategy and being clear about how you're going to win your chosen customers versus being tactical one Sunday versus another Sunday exactly. and, and spending that short term money to try and win in the media or try and win with a few customers whereas actually the bigger game matters more. And I guess if we look across the banks there are those that have a strategy clearly around customer acquisition where the others perhaps are focusing on their existing customers and how they add more value value and perhaps make more margin from those customers. Exactly. And, and I guess the lesson here is stay true to the strategy. You know, the other thing that I'm just wondering is there's been a competitor who's been very silent and that's Capitec. Mm. Mm. Now, now, where are they in mm. this? Is it that they don't want to be positioning relative to these other organizations? Because if we go and do a comparison on fees, sure. they're certainly up there hammering things. And, and yeah, they, they take the financial mail every year and make a big noise about what, what the FM says. Yeah. And I guess what my friends around the dinner table say in terms of Capitec is, why on earth are the big banks fighting about price when everyone should be with Capitec anyway? Uh, and so I guess it's an interesting marketing strategy for Capitec. Do they just focus on their target market and the, their media outlets, which perhaps are not the traditional media outlets, uh, and, and try and win that game. And I guess try and stick to their knitting. Uh, but increasingly, I guess what, what strikes, me strikes me about uh, Capitec strategy is moving more into the middle class. Oh, they, they've more had aspirations. Rian exactly. Stassen announced yeah. it. Uh, I think what they're doing is they're letting their competitors empty their war chests and then they're standing and in the sidelines waiting to come in. 
interesting times. It is very interesting time and an interesting debate, which we'd like uh, to carry on uh, with you after this, this video. So you may know the Gibbs handle is Gibbs underscore SA on Twitter. Uh, please join us. Tell us uh, which bank you're currently about to join or, or about to leave. Uh, how, how interested are you in switching based on all the money that these banks are spending? And tell us a little bit about what you think of these campaigns. We look forward to picking up the debate with you online.